So this is the yarn I'm going to be using. It's 100% acrylic. It doesn't tell me what mineral hook I need, so I just kind of guessed it. I'm going to be using a 4mm crochet hook for this. So we're going to start with a slip knot. Then I'm going to chain up 100. This is going to be the length of the cardigan. Keep in mind, we're still going to add the bottom ribbing after this. So I have chained 100. For this yarn, 100 chains equals 25 inches. Next, chain two more. In the second stitch from the hook, in the back loop, pull up a loop. And then in the third one, pull another loop. Now that we have three loops on the hook, we can make a double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Then we will continue making normal double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook in the back loop of the next stitch, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to continue working one double crochet in every stitch across this chain. You can mark your first stitch. So that was row one. To start the next row, chain two. This chain two doesn't count as the first stitch. In the second loop from the hook, I'm going to pull up a loop, then I'm going to turn my work in the first stitch under both loops, pull up a loop. Now I have three loops on the hook, I can make a double crochet. So this is the first stitch of this row. And we're always going to make our first stitch like this in every row. From the second stitch, this row is going to be a little different. To make the next stitch, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook in this first stitch, then insert my hook again, under both loops of the next stitch. So it's kind of like a front post, but we're not working this stitch around the post. And then I'm gonna pull up a loop and make a double crochet. The next stitch is the same. Instead of working our stitch around the post, we're gonna insert our hook in the same stitch and then around this stitch, but under the top two loops. Pull up a loop, finish this double crochet. The next stitch, do the same. In the same stitch, in the next stitch, a double crochet. The reason why we do this is because we want to push the top two loops of the last row to this side, like this. So go ahead, work like this, and finish this row. In the last stitch, we're going to work a normal double crochet. Chain 2 to start the next row, but remember the first stitch, we're going to work it a little differently. Pull up a loop in the second stitch, 
then turn your work. In the first stitch under both loops, pull up a loop, then work your first double crochet. Then this row, row three, is going to be the same as row one. Continue working normal double crochets. Work your last stitch normally. Then chain two. Work your first double crochet stitch like before. Then repeat row two. Work around the second stitch. Insert in the first stitch. And then in the second stitch, under both loops, work your double crochet. Then one double crochet in the third stitch. So we're just going to repeat the first two rows and make three panels, two front and one back. I think all of you know how it works, but just in case, I'm going to quickly explain a little bit. So that's the back panel. I've worked 56 rows across. That's about 24 inches. Then I left out 12 rows in the center, uh, about 5 inches here, so 56 minus 12 is 44. And then I divide that by 2, it gives us 22, so I've worked 22 rows for each front panel. The ribbon side is the right side, not only that, it also has a little V shape, like this. Make sure you don't place them upside down. Like if you see a little arrow pointing up, this is upside down. So just make sure of that. The same goes for the back panel. So this is the right side. I'm gonna join the front panels to the back one from the wrong side. Make sure they line up and then use a yarn needle to sew them together. For the sleeve, I chained 60, about 15 inches, then I worked 40 rows, then you're going to fold it in half, attach it to the front panel and the back panel, which are already joined together. So this is 40 rows, half is 20 rows, and that's 20 double crochet rows which equals 40 single crochet rows. So you're going to count out 40 stitches from the shoulder and join them together like this. Then we're going to make the cuff, which I will show you in a second, and then join it with this end of the sleeve. So I switched to black for the cuffs, ribbings and everything because I thought the sections would be more obvious with the color difference. I tried to film with a black color, but then you can't really see anything. So I'm just gonna, gonna switch to another random color just to show you how it works. I'm gonna make a slip knot. On the real cardigan, I chained 15. But I'm just going to chain 5 here. Feel free to adjust the length to your liking. So after that, chain 1 to turn. In the second stitch from the hook. In the back loop, insert your hook. And make a single crochet. 
in the back loop of the next stitch, make one more single crochet. Then keep making one single crochet in every chain across. Finish your last stitch and then chain one to turn. In the first stitch, insert your hook in the back loop and make a single crochet. Next stitch, back loop, single crochet. Next stitch, back loop, single crochet. Finish the last stitch, chain one, turn, in the first stitch, back loop, single crochet. So this is what you're going to be repeating for the cuff, and then work 60 rows. If you want your cuff to be smaller, you can work fewer rows if you want. So go ahead and make your sleeves and cuffs, and I'll meet you back here. Now that I have my cuff, I'm going to join it with the sleeve from the wrong side. Then sew from the end of the sleeve, underarm, and then to the side of the cardigan. For the bottom ribbing, chain 15, just like the cuff. And then I worked 200 rows. You can work fewer rows if you want the bottom of your cardigan to be tighter. For the hood, we're going to chain up 90. And first work 6 rows of normal double crochets. If you know how to do that, go ahead and finish that first. But if you don't, I'm going to explain a little bit in detail. Remember how we made the main panels? We're going to copy that for row 1. So that means chain 2 to turn. In the second stitch and the third stitch from the hook, pull up two loops in total. So you would have three loops on the hook, and then you're gonna make a double crochet, and then from the next stitch, make one double crochet in every stitch for row one, and then do the first stitch of the second row in the same way. So you might have to go back to that part of the video. Then from the second stitch of row two, you're gonna insert a hook under top two loops of each stitch. And then just keep working normal double crochets and work for another five rows so that's six rows in total and then from row seven we're going to increase two stitches each row so for row seven in the first stitch we're going to work two double crochets and then one double crochet in every stitch at the end of the row also put two double crochets in the very last stitch and for row 8, do the same. Put two double crochets in the first stitch and in the last stitch. For the rest stitches, just put one double crochet in each of them. So you're going to do that from row 7 to row 16. You should have 110 chains for row 16. So after that, you should have something like this. And then you're going to fold it in half and sew the short ends together. Don't worry, this is not the final result of the hoodie. We're still going to work 8 more rows, so it's going to be bigger. But for now, you're going to join this with your cardigan. When you join them, make sure they line up in the center. The final step, we're going to work back and forth 8 rows in total. From this corner, just one double crochet in each stitch. No decrease. All the way to the other side. Then turn, start working in the other direction. So do that for the first six rows. Before working row seven, mark where you want to place the buttons. Then start row seven. Whenever we see a marked stitch, we're going to chain one and skip that stitch to make a button hole. Your button should be big enough so that it doesn't fit through the button hole too easily. If your button is really big, when you see a stitch marker, 
you can chain two and skip two stitches. Row eight, work one double crochet in each stitch, then fasten off. If you want this edge to be less stretchy, you can work one more row of slip stitch. Sew on the buttons, weave in the ends, then our cardigan is done.